Hey guys, welcome back to Sailing Amari. Last week, winter finally came to an end. We left the marina, we went for our first seal, Laura was sick, we got trapped on the boat, the dogs weren't happy with us, but we made it to Catacolo, where we wanted to go to Olympia to see one of the seven wonders of the world. So let's pick up where we left off. We have arrived in Olympia, which was supposed to be our first big like video of some kind of sightseeing. <laughs> but nothing is open. <laughs> it appears to like... be closed. <laughs> right behind us is the original stadium. And there's supposed to be like a big archeological site where you can walk around and see all the old ruins, um, the Temple of Zeus and all this cool stuff that was supposed to be really interesting. The gate's shut. We'll see what we can make of this video anyway. Let's go see what we can find here in Olympia and hopefully make something of interest. <laughs> Is this not the most typical thing you've ever seen? The site will be closed today because of a strike. Come all this way <laughs> on a day of a strike. So guess why it's closed? Why? There's a strike today. No. For the today. Just today. Just today. <laughs> no. Then we come back tomorrow. <laughs> what a waste of time. That's definitely just today. It says 13. So this video is going to be very different than planned. So let's see, uh, I think all of the sites, even the museums and everything are closed. So at least we only paid like five euros on a train to get here. These, yeah, like and all it's a nice these, little town. But all these tour, tour groups have probably paid 50 euros each for a <laughs> for a bus from the cruise ships. It's a nice day trip up. It, it was a nice train ride and well, so that's the it got us video. off the boat for a few hours. Thanks for watching. <laughs> So this video has now turned into what can you do in Olympia, which With doesn't nothing, involve <laughs> any of the sites. <laughs> we found a garden. This is what sightseeing is we're going to get done today. See, in life you just have to expect the unexpected. When we came here, I thought we'd be doing some awesome shots <laughs> of statues and ruins, but here come some awesome shots of plants. <laughs> Wasn't that the most lovely thing? It's the first time the dogs have actually really been off lead in like a little foresty part in, well, it's probably since we left home. Maybe split. But yeah. Yeah, not very many places have it, unfortunately. No, but it was super nice. But they loved it. They were super happy. And now we're going to go see if we can find something to eat. And just like that, our trip to Olympia is finished. It wasn't very historical. In fact, the most historical thing that we've seen is this building from 2007. Pretty upsetting that we didn't get to see anything that we wanted to, but such is life. It could be worse. It was a beautiful day, such a nice temperature. It was a really nice day, actually. And um, yeah, still enjoyed a nice little day trip. Yeah, it was nice to get off the boat for a few. Time to get back to, where are we? Catacolo. See what the day Chill brings. Chill out for the rest of the day. So the next morning it was time to lift anchor and continue heading south. We had a 30 mile sail down to Kipparisha and with no wind and the engine on, my worries about the engine problems started to come true. 
So unfortunately our engine is now smoking. We think it's overheating because our seacock we don't think is open fully. Peter didn't think he closed it but he must have and he's too worried to open it while we're at sea in case we sink. So and now we have the seals up. We're doing three knots. 2.6 if anybody wants to donate a spinnaker, that would be wonderful. <laughs> Thanks. Giving the engine a bit of a break. Um, we're in no rush, so just take our time, play some more backgammon, and then we will have some lunch and chill out and hope, hope that whenever we get to Capricia that we can sort this engine out because big issue. It's a bit of a problem. At least it now confirms that I wasn't wrong in thinking that there wasn't enough water coming out the engine. So at least we know what the fix is. It's just... You're too worried to do the fix, that's the issue. So I know it seems super simple for anyone who has a boat. It's just you open up the three hole with the handle. Nardos doesn't have a handle because it broke off last year. And now I'm kind of worried that if I start playing with it, the whole thing's just going to snap off, which means water comes flying in, boat sinks which isn't a great start to the season. I'm gonna just have to try and do it, but it's just very easy with the handle, not so easy without. It. But if we can give the engine a break for an hour, hopefully that'll cool it down enough that the smoke doesn't keep coming out. Let's go chill out, make this time to relax. But yes, anyone seriously has a spinnaker. That's what we need. Peter would love one. Right now, we could be We would both love one. And if you want to contribute, head over to our Patreon. <laughs> Because we're going to need to buy a spinnaker. Because <laughs> we're going to need to buy a new boat. <laughs> oh, that's true. sink it. So yeah, this is what ghosting along at one and a half knots looks like. <laughs> Still 15 miles away, and that doesn't sound very far. But when you're doing one mile an hour, yeah, it's not great. So, um, I mean, it's super calm and relaxing. There's no waves, there's no swell, there's, there's also no wind. Moments like this is when you really would love to have a spinnaker. It's, it's just so calm, it's relaxing. It's just obviously the process of getting one and figuring out how to use it <laughs> so maybe someday that is that's definitely on the on the cards of stuff that we absolutely want but we just don't have the money for it right now so this is as exciting as it gets when you have engine problems but yeah it's time for lunch and then hopefully we can get the engine on and make some miles before we turn it back off and ghost again oh, hello. Lunch time. what's on the menu today uh, a mixed match of, I don't even know what, pita bread with breaded chicken, tomatoes, red onion, sweet chilli and garlic sauce. Laura's cookbook's coming out soon. Are we eating here? Are we eating at the bar? Oh, we'll eat at the bar. How exciting is that? <laughs> Dinner on deck. So we just finished lunch. There's literally about to turn the engine on. And look, the flag is now flying. We have wind, and Laura seems to think <laughs> it's summertime. Let's look at the. Might as well try it and see. You know, I'm in full clothes. Laura's in uh, nothing. You may start your timelines you know, early. <laughs> priorities, of course. Yeah, priorities. It's going to be pretty cold out there. Now that yeah. we have a bit of a wind. I'm going to try it. We've gone from one knot. I'm not three and a half. confident I'll survive <clears throat> long, but I'll try. You're not going to. I will confirm. You will not. <laughs> it's freezing now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that has been a much more successful sale than what we anticipated it to be. Um, we've had, I don't know, five, ten knots at most, but we've just kind of coasted along, two, three knots. We've had a bit of waves and current behind us, which have helped. And um, we've hit four knots, we've hit four and a half knots, and now we are right here. So yeah, way more successful than we thought. We've got two miles to go. We're going to be in for like six o'clock. Yeah, it's three hours slower than what we would have done motoring, but the engine's better. We didn't use any diesel. It's been quiet. It's been super calm and relaxing. And um, yeah, still got lots of time before the sun sets. Let's get in here. We're going to walk the dogs up to your castle and hopefully have a sunset drink up at the castle because, well, why not?
and we made it. Cheers. A little bit of a different one, completely random. It was supposed to be a one big trip to, where are we? Olympia. Ah, uh, well here we are in... Capricia. Capricia, they're all just kind of rolling into one at this point. Really good. <clears throat> um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Um, where we're going to be heading down to Pelos and kind of hanging around there for... Three or four days. Three or four days. It's going to be raining and it's also, there's a lot of history there. So it'll be interesting to see it. And then, yeah, we're going to head around the Peloponnese. But yeah. And hopefully things will be open when we go there. Yeah. No. But anyway, thanks for watching and we will catch you guys in the next one. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye.